The Haunting Echoes of the Past, A Tale of Terror and Closure In the heart of the city, there was an old apartment complex that had a dark and twisted history. The locals whispered that the building was cursed, and many have reported strange occurrences inside. Despite the rumors, a young couple named Tom and Sarah decided to move into one of the apartments on the third floor. They were thrilled with the location and the rent was too good to pass up. However, it wasn't long before they realized something was not right about their new home. They heard footsteps in the hallway when no one was there, and strange whispers in the middle of the night. One night, Tom woke up to find himself unable to move. He saw a figure standing at the end of his bed, staring at him with empty eyes. It was a ghostly woman in a white dress, with long black hair that obscured her face. Tom tried to scream, but he couldn't even whisper. He felt a cold breath on his face, and the figure began to approach him. He closed his eyes, hoping it was just a nightmare. But when he opened them again, the woman was right beside him, her face inches from his own. The next morning, Tom tried to tell Sarah what had happened, but she didn't believe him. She thought he was just imagining things, or maybe it was a side effect of the medication he was taking. But soon, Sarah began to experience the same things. She woke up to find the same ghostly figure standing at the foot of their bed. They started to notice strange symbols etched into the walls, and strange smells that they couldn't explain. They tried to leave the apartment, but the door wouldn't budge. It was like they were trapped inside, with the ghostly presence growing stronger each day. One night, as they sat huddled together in fear, they heard a voice whispering to them. It was the ghostly woman, telling them her tragic story. She had been murdered in that very apartment, and her restless spirit had haunted the building ever since. Tom and Sarah knew they had to get out of there. They managed to break the window and climb onto the fire escape. As they looked back at the apartment, they saw the ghostly figure watching them from the window. They never went back to that haunted apartment again, but to this day, they still hear the whispers of the ghostly woman, haunting their dreams and reminding them of the terror they endured. Despite their terror, Tom and Sarah couldn't resist the temptation to investigate the story of the murdered woman. They researched the history of the apartment complex and found out that it had indeed been the site of a brutal murder in the 1960s. A woman named Emily had been killed by her jealous husband, who had then committed suicide. Tom and Sarah felt a sense of sadness for Emily's tragic fate, but they also felt a glimmer of hope. Maybe if they could find a way to put Emily's spirit to rest, the haunting would stop. They consulted a local psychic, who gave them a ritual to perform. They had to light candles, burn sage, and recite a prayer to the spirit world, asking for Emily's soul to be released from the apartment. Tom and Sarah followed the ritual exactly, and to their amazement, they felt a sense of peace wash over them. The strange symbols on the walls faded away, and the ghostly presence vanished. They never saw or heard from Emily's ghost again. The apartment was quiet, and they were able to live there in peace. They felt grateful that they were able to help Emily's spirit find rest, and they never forgot the lesson that sometimes, even the darkest of places can be redeemed. For a few weeks, Tom and Sarah lived in the apartment without any strange occurrences. They thought that they had finally put the ghosts of the past to rest. However, their peace was short-lived. One night, Sarah woke up to find herself in the living room, standing in front of the wall. She had no memory of getting up or how she had gotten there. When she looked at the wall, she saw the same symbols that they had previously found etched into the walls of the bedroom. As she stared at the symbols, 
she felt a cold breeze that seemed to come from the wall itself. Suddenly, a loud banging noise echoed throughout the apartment. It sounded like something was trying to break through the wall. Sarah rushed to wake up Tom, and they both stood in front of the wall, staring at it in horror. The banging continued, growing louder and more intense with each passing moment. Finally, the wall began to crack, and a figure emerged from the other side. It was the ghost of Emily, the woman who had been murdered in the apartment years before. She was pale and gaunt, with blood stains on her white dress. Emily floated towards Tom and Sarah, and they could hear her whispering something incoherent. The ghostly figure seemed to be trying to communicate with them, but they couldn't understand what she was saying. Suddenly, Emily let out a blood-curdling scream, and the apartment shook violently. The walls cracked, and the floor beneath their feet trembled. It felt like the entire building was about to collapse. In a panic, Tom and Sarah ran towards the front door, but it wouldn't budge. It was like they were trapped inside the apartment once again, with no way out. The haunting continued, night after night, with Emily's ghost appearing to them in different forms. They tried every ritual and prayer they could find to put her to rest, but nothing seemed to work. In the end, they realized that they could never truly escape the horror of the haunted apartment. They moved out as soon as they could, never looking back at the cursed building again, but the memories of their terror remained with them, haunting them for the rest of their lives. Even after Tom and Sarah moved out of the haunted apartment, they found that they couldn't escape the ghosts of their past. They were plagued by nightmares and sleepless nights, haunted by the memories of the terrifying experiences they had endured. They sought the help of therapists and spiritual healers, but nothing could fully erase the trauma they had experienced. They learned to live with the fear, accepting it as a part of their lives. Years passed, and they eventually moved on, but they never forgot about the haunted apartment. It remained a dark shadow in their memories, a constant reminder of the power of the unknown. One day, they received news that the apartment complex had been demolished to make way for a new building. They felt a sense of relief, knowing that no one else would have to suffer the same fate they had. However, as they walked by the empty lot where the apartment had once stood, they couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. It was as if the ghosts of the past still lingered there, unable to move on. They stood there in silence, lost in their thoughts, when suddenly they heard a faint whisper. They looked at each other in shock, realizing that they both had heard it. It was the voice of Emily, the ghost of the murdered woman. The whisper grew louder and more insistent, until it was a full-blown scream. Tom and Sarah were paralyzed with fear, unable to move or speak. It was as if they were once again trapped in the haunted apartment. And then, just as suddenly as it had started, the scream stopped. The air was still, and there was nothing but silence. Tom and Sarah looked at each other in disbelief, realizing that the nightmare was finally over. They walked away from the empty lot. Feeling a sense of closure, it was as if the ghosts of the past had finally been put to rest, and they could finally move on with their lives. But deep down, they knew that they would never fully forget the horrors of the haunted apartment. It would remain a part of their past, a reminder of the fragility of life and the power of the unknown. As time went on, Tom and Sarah tried to put the memory of the haunted apartment behind them. They focused on building a new life together, far away from the darkness of their past. They moved to a new city, started new jobs, and even had a child together. Their lives were finally moving forward, and they were happy. However, despite their efforts to forget, the memory of the haunted apartment continued to haunt them. 
They couldn't shake the feeling that they had left something unresolved, that there was still something they needed to do. One day, they received a mysterious letter in the mail. It was addressed to them, with no return address or sender's name. The letter contained a single sentence, The past cannot be buried forever. Tom and Sarah were shaken by the message, and they knew that they had to go back to the haunted apartment. They had to confront the ghosts of the past and put them to rest once and for all. They traveled back to the city where the haunted apartment had once stood, feeling a sense of dread and anticipation. When they arrived, they found that the empty lot where the apartment had once been was now a park. As they walked through the park, they felt a strange energy in the air. It was as if the ghosts of the past were still lingering there, waiting for them. They reached the spot where the haunted apartment had once stood and they both felt a chill run down their spines. It was as if the memories of their past were coming back to haunt them once again. Suddenly, they heard a whisper in the air. It was the voice of Emily, the ghost of the murdered woman. She was speaking to them, telling them about the pain and suffering she had endured. Tom and Sarah listened to her story, feeling a sense of empathy and compassion. They knew that they had to do something to help her spirit find peace. They performed a ritual, burning sage and reciting a prayer to the spirit world. As they did so, they felt a sense of peace wash over them, and they knew that Emily's spirit had finally been put to rest. Tom and Sarah looked at each other, feeling a sense of closure. They had finally confronted the ghosts of their past and put them to rest. They knew that the memory of the haunted apartment would always be a part of them, but they also knew that they had the power to overcome it. As they walked away from the park, they felt a sense of freedom and renewal. They knew that they could finally move forward with their lives, leaving the past behind and embracing the future.